People, what I'm about to attempt in this video is extremely dangerous, so please don't try this at home. One of the number one questions I get when people find out that I have a moray eel, which I feed with my hand, is, has she ever bitten me yet? And the answer in short is no. However, it's not necessarily that she won't bite me. It has a lot to do with me being very careful and me being generally experienced when it comes to hand feeding animals. I mean, I've got my snake Coco, with whom I've had plenty of experience when it comes to hand hand feeding and it's all about being calm and relaxed and by the way if you're wondering Coco hasn't bitten me yet either having said that it's important to not forget that when you have a mori eel that you hand feed being bitten is a real possibility now I'll keep it real when it comes to me personally I'm very comfortable with my mori eel I've never had the real feeling that she's gonna bite me however I do kind of want to know whether she would actually bite me if that makes sense like i said when i'm feeding her i'm fairly careful but what would actually happen if i'm not that careful or if i just have my hand right in front of her face what would she actually do i really want to know man let's find out now before we go any further guys what i'm about to do is extremely dangerous and stupid don't try this at home don't be me i'm stupid you're not but yeah anyway let's explore the potential dangers of this experiment you see many people don't realize that moray eels are actually venomous and they have an incredibly strong bite i mean we all remember the little rampage my moray eel went on <laughs> if you want to check out that video i'll put it up here somewhere but um yeah they're venomous and they have a very strong bite now when it comes to the venom i believe it's the marine ones the bigger ones that are actually very dangerously venomous according to my research as far as i could tell the tiger moray eel is venomous, but it's not a very strong venom. Having said that, people, I could be wrong in it. My research could be wrong. So if you are gonna like, don't base this on what I'm saying, basically, in it. But from what I found out, their venom isn't that strong. I'm willing to take the risk today. Like I said, I'm stupid. Now, the other thing is they actually have a second mouth inside of them, kind of like the alien from Alien. You know, when it opens its mouth and there's another mouth that comes out, like Mori eels literally have that. And apparently they can take out chunks of flesh with that little mouth there. I don't know, if we really think about it, I guess the worst that could happen is she could take out a small chunk of my finger or something. Um, she's still a baby, so I don't think she can take off my finger yet. However, if she was old, does she probably could take off a finger but yeah either way people this is dangerous and stupid now i want to try out a few things but first things first people if you want to see videos like this every single week then please remember to like and subscribe i'm just trying to grow this channel to a thousand subscribers so we can get monetized so i can potentially do this full time but yeah, anyway we've done enough talking let's try it out let's see if my mori eel bites me all right so lily is right here she's hiding a little bit let's see what happens Are you gonna bite me, Lily? No, she's not biting me. Okay, so what about if I open my hand? Lily, are you gonna bite me? You can't really see, but it doesn't look like she's biting me. All right, cool. Well, that was good. <laughs> now let's do the dangerous thing, which is add in some shrimp. So I'm gonna hand feed her like normal, but then my fingers are gonna smell like shrimp a little bit. So I wanna see what she does then. So fish, can you please not, these fish are trying to bite me. Lily, where did Lily go? There she is. All right, Lily, here you go. Ah! Okay, she just bit me accidentally. <laughs> Ow. Nah, I'm joking people, it didn't actually hurt. Um, she did get her teeth stuck a little bit on my thumb though. Um, let's see, let's try this again. Come on Lily, don't bite me. Oh, this time she didn't. Let's try this one more time. 
Oh, it's really hard getting shrimp out and then keeping the camera on Lily. Oh, there you go. All right, now my fingers smell of shrimp. What's going to happen now? Is she going to bite me? This is probably the most dangerous part, people. Lily, are you gonna bite me? Don't bite me, Lily. I didn't even keep it in shot. Okay, people, she didn't bite me this time. Let me keep my hand out one more time. Let me make sure I keep it in shot. She is not biting me, people. Did I speak too soon? She keeps going around the back, which is annoying. Um, you can't really see, but she has not bitten me. She bit my thumb a little bit. There doesn't seem to be a mark on there. I think we've teased her for long enough. Let's give her some more shrimp. Lily, where are you? You know, I just realized I did not feed my fish yet. That's why they're all out trying to take the shrimp. It's not yours, man. It's Lily's. Go and take it. There you go, my darling. Oh my days, people. Okay. So, um, interesting, people. Interesting. So, first, when I put my hand in, she did not bite me at all. Um, she did explore my hand a little bit. But then, one time when I did have a small piece of shrimp, she did misjudge it and she bit me. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see. But there's even the tiniest mark just here. Just a white little mark there. I think one of her tooth got stuck in my thumb. But it didn't look like she meant to bite me. It was more, she tried to go for the shrimp and it was just too close to my thumb and she just accidentally caught me. Now the thing that got me worried was when I held the shrimp and the scent of the shrimp was on my fingers and then I put my hand in in front of her. I really thought if she is going to bite me, that would be it. That's the point she would, you know, bite me. But she didn't. I like i'm genuinely surprised people she was able to tell the difference between my fingers and shrimp even though i'm pretty sure that my fingers smell like shrimp you know what people i just remembered they're venomous man <laughs> hey this is bad okay so um if something does happen to my thumb i will update you guys uh it doesn't feel like anything happened i don't think she injected any venom i don't even think they inject venom i think it's something to do with their saliva if i remember correctly similar to komodo dragons but um if something does happen i'll let you guys know but yeah it looks like it was a successful experiment man but yeah in conclusion people i'm not really too worried about being bitten i think it's really cool that i've got an eel that i can feed with my hand and if you want to see how i taught my more real to eat from my hands then click right here